right. Well, we are here with Terry Nunn, lead singer of Berlin. Terry, thank you so much for being with me tonight. And um, you just, you guys just rocked the house tonight. You just performed two sets here at the California Mid-State Fair. What was that like performing in front of uh, hundreds and thousands of, of your fans? It's still amazing. It's the best drug that I know. Wow. Yeah, it's a high, concerts to me are a high. Uh -huh. Whether I'm in the crowd or on stage, it's the same thing. Uh -huh. It's just different, you know, ends of the same high, gotcha. you know, where uh -huh. the music's taking you. Uh -huh. Places. And for folks that aren't familiar with Berlin, Berlin formed in 1978 in Los Angeles. Is that Berlin correct? Berlin formed in 77. Oh, I joined okay. in 1979. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's... Okay. Well, our, my fact checkers will be fired. So <laughs> no, no problem with that. Um, you but, were close. Okay. We That's were good. In the general vicinity. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that era, the late 70s, is really known, you know, CDBG and a lot of, like, the punk and new wave era was, was a real highlight in uh, American and British mu music at that time. And um, did you guys have the, the pleasure of performing with other new wave or punk rock acts or... Oh, uh, yeah. back then. The, the scariest one was Iggy Pop. Oh, wow. We were in love with him, yeah. but he had a crowd. You, you remember the punk, when, when, it, when it started, there was a lot of spitting? Yeah. yeah. Well, in Los Scarier. Angeles, punk rock, Black Flag, and a lot of those folks, right? Yeah, yeah Henry Rollins, Henry actually. Rollins. We didn't play with him, but I just did a RuPaul's Drag Race with him. Wow. <laughs> but anyway. I didn't know Henry uh, was like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, back to Iggy Pop. So, so we opened for them, and I'm just terrified that you know I'm going to get spit, and uh -huh. you know I don't know what they're going to come out of their mouths on uh, me. But, uh -huh. but they they actually listened. They kind of were like this, and because we were very we were different from anything going on at that time. It was power pop. It uh -huh. was punk. Uh -huh. It was straight pop. It was the plimsolls and the go gos and yeah. skinny ties, the neck, the neck yeah. or punk and we were this kind of you know we wanted to be like the first electronic band in america because mm. it had started over in europe Definitely. and people were like you know they it, it, it took a while well that's a, that was a very daring thing for you guys to do to try to trailblaze some new musical uh, uh trails and paths as it were i loved it because yeah. it was not just the same bass drums guitar vocals <laughs> that everything was it, it opened up the the palette to be a lot of sounds that you could play. Well, I wanted to ask you too, Terry, as a, as a female lead singer, um, you know, it's not, um, there's maybe a lot of patriarchy in music. You got um, hair on your, oh, there you go. Oh, sorry about that. We'll cut that. That's my hair. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we'll keep it because that's very cool. Um, Terry Nunn hair on my mic. Uh, very cool. Um, well, Terry, um, that, you know, back then, um, you know, to be a female singer of a band, uh, was that kind of a, a challenge? Were there sort of um, challenges breaking through, or um, w was that a pretty accepted part of the whole kind of cultural shift that happened in the 70s with, like, Blondie and uh, a lot of female punk rock bands kind of coming up, the Go-Go's, as you mentioned? Yeah, we're playing with the Go-Go's, actually, in a couple of weeks, August 20th oh, wow. in Temecula. Okay. Great, all of them great ladies. Uh -huh. um, it, you know, it's a catch-22 because on one hand, I wasn't taken as seriously as a musician because okay. I was a girl yeah. and it's okay. a man's world yeah. in music, uh -huh. a lot more then. Uh -huh. But at the same time, because I was a girl, we were noticed more. People would look and say, well, okay, so what's this? Because it was different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, maybe other women had a really hard time mm -hmm. and, you know, trying to make it, but for me, I can't stand behind that. It yeah. was it was good, very and good. it was hard sometimes. Very you know. good, very good. Well, um, we uh, I was told by my informant that you had um, that uh, Berlin had performed a couple songs for a Madonna and a Blondie tribute album. Is that correct? Yeah. And so those are two very strong uh, Deborah Harry and Madonna, very strong female singers. Is there uh, something an affinity that you share with those performers in particular, particular, and maybe the, the work that they've produced through the years? Well, as a matter of fact, we did tonight. We did a song, gr one of Grace Slick's oh, song okay. from Jefferson Airplane, oh, okay. who's okay. another strong Female. woman. She that's on our um, on our CD DVD. Oh, awesome. Even though I didn't write it, I wanted it on because she changed everything for me. Very cool. You know, these yeah. strong women. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be a guy, actually, okay. I, because yeah. the guys, when I was growing up, they were the ones who had more freedom yeah. than the women mm -hmm. who were kind of real pretty and they played their guitar and, you know, it was yeah. like really sweet and they, well, that's all they did. You had Iggy Pop, Gigi Allen, people oh, that yeah. cutting themselves on stage, oh, other body fluids everywhere. Oh, yeah, 
they were crazy and they were wild and you know that's what i wanted to have that kind of freedom and then there were women like uh madonna was after me she she was actually a member of my uh first uh fan club which was called the masquerade Really? yeah um she came a little bit later but but debbie harry wow you know so strong grace slick stevie nicks uh, anna wilson just great women who were right out there with the boys yeah no doubt, no doubt. Well, tonight you guys played a lot of your big hits, and uh, I'd imagine, um, you know, when fans come to your shows, you know, it's those the big hits that you guys performed. You know, "Take My Breath Away." some of your favorite songs that maybe aren't the big hits that, that you really enjoy pl- uh, performing maybe from your guys's back catalog are there some songs that on stage you really like to kind of uh, bring to people's attention that they maybe aren't familiar with those songs you mean some of the more obscure songs yeah. you mean yeah. yeah you don't know was a european hit it wasn't okay. uh, they got it it was a very dark song that i really love hideaway we did tonight away from the third album is just such a beautiful love strange song I, that's yeah that's yeah we'll pull them out there's a lot of songs and every show there's people who come out and go I wish you'd done this song or, you know I, I, there's it's it's hard to do it all but we try and change it up well that's a really good motivation for fans out there to follow you guys when you do a tour circuit because yeah. maybe they might be privy to some of those gems you know from yeah. the closet that they have people haven't heard for a while yeah we pull them out yeah, but this summer we're out with excess. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. we're playing with them actually through August 16th. We started two nights ago in Seattle, and we took a detour here okay. because we'd already booked this, and then we hook up with them next week again. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. great band. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Just, they are, they are legends, those guys. Yeah, and uh, Michael Hutchings unfortunately passed away a, f- a few years ago, but yes. they're, they're still out there, still singing those great hits and uh, representing his spirit on stage. That's great. Well, they're, the band yeah. is easily as good yeah. as Michael was, yeah. and this guy, this JD, is great. Yeah, they're evoking that classic, that they're spirit. They're legends, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay. They're, wow, yeah. it's... It's a great tour. Very cool, very cool. And Terry, um, another question I had for you is, I mean, you guys have played with so many great, I mean, we've dropped some big names tonight, uh, but in terms of maybe the maybe some bands that you've opened for or who have opened for you, uh, what are some of the highlights in the last 30 years of maybe some of the bands that you've had the pleasure of actually touring with? Uh, and you mentioned uh, In Excess and The Go-Go's, but are there some other big ones that come to mind? Talk Talk was, oh, okay. was a great band to play with. Okay. God. Um, Oh, what was the one, um, uh, Angel? Um, of course, because I'm on the air, I'm not. I'm not the name. I'm pretty good with music uh, trivia. Uh, Saved by an Angel, or send me an Saved angel. angel. That was a great band. Yeah. Who else? Um, Thompson Twins. Oh, wow. They were yeah. great, and they had a great chef oh. who made vegetarian great food nice. that we would, you know, beg for every night. Wow, very cool. Sometimes they would give it to All us. Right. The girl in Thompson Twins didn't like me. She was like, ah, no. Because she would wear, like, it looked like a burqa, you know? She, yeah. She's a good singer and good writer, but, yeah. but she didn't, wasn't very sexual or sensual. She, she, she just kind of wore this kind of shifty thing. Exactly. And I would come out like this. Yeah, you represented the female uh, kind of mystique. I like she, my body. Yeah, well, 
Um, so yeah, she was didn't like me much, yeah, but yeah. yeah, she was very um, kind of asexual. She shaved yeah. her eyebrows. I mean, no, you know that was the style, but very right. um, pale, very right. Norwegian sort of androgynous right. sort of looking. Right. Well, boy, you know, 30 plus years, a, a real wonderful history of, of performing and stuff. And Terry, tell us a little bit about what's going on with Berlin right now, with the current tour, uh, maybe uh, what's going on with the website, how folks can sort of um, maybe access more of your music on iTunes or so, some more of your video. Well, right now we're working with the Dust Brothers on yeah. new music. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the Dust Brothers are a very famous sort of DJ producer uh, combination who've done a lot of things with Beck. I um, like, okay. Beastie Boys, yeah. Rolling Stones, yeah, yeah they, they're an electronic, edgy, they're taking what I do to another level. Yeah. Wow, very cool. Yeah, very so cool. it's really cool. Right. So that's coming. Okay. And yeah, we're on Facebook, and we have berlinpage.com, and okay. they can hook in. But this summer, we're, we're out for the next month with, with the next S, so All right. that's the most immediate. There you go. Well, what are some of the other venues that you guys will be touring here in the next week or month um, coming up that maybe folks can come out and uh, check you out LA, at? We're at the Hollywood Bowl, September 2nd. Okay. In New York, we're at the Beacon Theater. Okay. We're playing Baltimore, Atlantic City, Philadelphia, Minneapolis. It's, yeah, it's, a, wow. it's extensive. Wow, so there's a lot of opportunities yeah. for folks out there to come check it out. And uh, uh, Terry, if you could say one thing to the audience uh, or folks out there that might want to come, what would you say about your live shows to you know, urge folks to come on down and check out the band? Our live shows are out of our minds because that's what I want music to be for me and that's what I want it to be for the audience I want to get out of my mind I want to get out of it's one of the songs actually that one of the new songs with the Dust Brothers is about getting out of our minds oh, wow. and into our hearts and our bodies and just let it all go and let get crazy because that's what a great concert is about so when you come to Terry's concerts you will be able to let yourself go crazy a little bit too it sounds like well, all right. Well, check out Berlin's <laughs> website, and we have that up on. We're going to put that up on screen here, and uh, BerlinPage.com, where you can actually find more of the music and more of the great stuff that Berlin uh, has to offer. So, thank you so much, Terry, for your time, and we thank wish you, you the best of luck me. with your tour. Appreciate okay. it. Thank, okay. you. thank you.